Welcome to Tuesdays with Sam Chand. My name is Pastor Andre Olivier from Rivers Church, South Africa. I want to speak to you about disappointment. Being disappointed is inevitable, especially in ministry. But living in disappointment is optional. It's a choice. Dr. Michael Vincent Miller, a psychologist who's been practicing for over 30 years, said that a lot of people who think they're depressed are actually not depressed. They're actually disappointed. Things have happened to them that have devastated their lives and had an impact on their lives. And so they think they're depressed, but they're actually facing a series of disappointments. The difference between expectation and reality. You know, the difference between being disappointed and living in disappointment, one is an event, the other one's a lifestyle. One happens to you, the other's a choice. And we've really got to make sure that when this happens to us, it doesn't set into our lives and affect our ministries. In Genesis 26, Isaac uh, had conflict with the uh, Philistines. They wanted to stop up the wells that his father had built. He then opened new wells and they claimed those and then he opened another well and they claimed that as well. And it's so easy to get disappointed when people come against you in ministry. They attack you. But Isaac kept the sweet spirit. He didn't retaliate. He didn't allow it to sour him. And the Bible says that the king of Gerar came to him and said to him, we can see that the Lord is with you. Today I want to encourage you, don't let this disappointment get into your soul and sour you. When you get knocked down, get back up. When, when things seem to be going the wrong way and people come against you in opposition, keep digging, keep looking. Because in the end, the king of Gerar comes back to him and wants to make a treaty with him. Those who disappoint us, those who let us down, will eventually be turned around and God will bring blessing into our lives. Don't let disappointment sink into your heart and sour you. Bounce back. If you let down, don't give up. Keep going. Keep digging. Keep prospering. And God will give you the springs and the wells that you desperately need. It's a choice. It's a decision that we all have to make.